election begins in the corruption trial of former Nassau County Executive Ed Mengano. He's accused of taking bribes from a restaurant owner, and federal prosecutors say he isn't the only official involved. CBS News' Mark Liverman joins us live from the courthouse in Central Islip. Mark. Yeah, two of Nassau County's former most prominent leaders could each face up to 20 years in prison if they're found guilty. And the jury who's going to decide their fate, they're going to be picked right here, federal court, later on today. America is the greatest country in the world, and I have an opportunity when at the proper time to present uh, my evidence that rebukes, rebukes any of this nonsense. And that opportunity for Ed Mangano might start as soon as tomorrow. The former Nassau County executive pleaded not guilty back in 2016 after turning himself into federal prosecutors. His wife Linda and former Oyster Bay Town Supervisor John Vendito also arrested on corruption charges. All three accused of accepting lavish gifts and freebies in exchange for valuable contracts. Sadly, we're again confronted with public officials who are alleged to have used their positions of trust. In this case, the highest ranking elected official in Nassau County and in the town of Oyster Bay for their own corrupt benefit. The alleged kickbacks going back more than half a decade in a relationship with Harendra Singh, the prominent millionaire who owns restaurants and town concessions. Singh has since pleaded guilty to those bribery charges. In his indictment, Vendito didn't say much. My attorney will be speaking for me. Vendito's attorney calling the charges underwhelming, but the FBI begged to differ. In the end, Edward and Linda Magano and John Vendito lied about their conduct to the investigators, fanning the flames of a fire be that became too large to contain. And according to the FBI, that conduct included everything from free meals and vacations to limo services, and it was all in exchange for things like millions of dollars of loans and contracts. We're live in Central Islip, Long Island. Mark Liverman, CBS 2 News. Okay,